Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Corky. Football Manager 24 has been out for a few days now. We have, of course, created our custom AFC database Richmond. There is a link in the description below where you can download that database from as well. So it was only natural that the next step to do was to start our Let's Play series where we take AFC Richmond. We're going to go through three seasons, try and win some silverware, try and get them into Europe, hopefully win that Premier League title. Now in the download below, you will have all the usual face back face packs kits everything that you need to start the game the, a little caveat to this series um, there are three different versions of the database available each with slightly slight changes uh, the version that we're using is the version with no ted lasso in the game uh, the reason for that being is the, the database was created so that you can create your own version of ted lasso and create your own character of ted lasso and actually be ted lasso in this let's play series i've actually decided not to do that and i'm just going to use my regular quirky character as i do with every game so we've taken over at AFC Richmond. We have played a few games already this season. Um, we're going to show you the goals from then and we're going to play the final game of this opening month against Everton in the Carabao Cup. Now a little bit of a caveat again to this series. Uh, we have started the game where we've disabled the first transfer window. Um, it basically means that there can be no transfer business up until the transfer window closes in August. Um, for the simple reason being, in real life, all the teams have done all their transfer business already and their, their squads are now settled. We don't want to make any changes until January. We want to try and keep it relatively realistic as possible. So we'll look at the games that we have played already. We got off to an absolutely fantastic start against Tottenham. Uh, we did travel away to them. Um, we've come away there with a 4-2 victory. So we will show you the goals from that. Uh, first of all very quickly as you may have seen there Ben Davies playing left back has had an absolute howler of a game on a 5.9 rating um, so we'll show you the goals here Dixon takes a throw into Shannon comes to Ubisania cuts it back to uh, Arlo Dixon finds a cross to the back post and Danny Rojas is there to score to uh, make it 1-0 uh, 35 36 minutes in the game you see here Jamie Touch breaking it down the right hand side cuts the ball back to Sam Ubisania who makes no mistake and makes it 2-0 uh, our third goal line comes just before half time. We see Paul Hughes again come down the right hand side, cuts it back to Ari Dixon, gets it back from, from Dixon. He has a shot, it has deflected off Ben Davis and gone in uh, for 3 0. Uh, coming back in after half time, Spurs did start to show uh, a completely different side of their game. You can see a fantastic finish there from Richardson, a lovely ball through from Giovanni Lasso. Uh, that made it 3 1 to it. We get just after the armor, we've got Arlo Dixon coming down. Right hand side, lifts a ball into the back post and Jamie Tart is there to score his first goal of the season. Uh, there is one more game left as you see the Celso involved again here, plays the hard goal, he finds Richardson, a lovely touch past Jan Mas and he tucks the ball into the bottom corner past Thierry Zorro. Um, as you may have noticed, Zorro wearing the name Van Damme on the back of his shirt. Uh, we then um, played at home, our first home game of the season, we faced Everton. Um, as you can see there, Colin Hughes picked up an injury in the third minute. We did take a 1-0 lead, um, as you can see from the um, the the XG report there. Um, really, we probably should have done a lot better. We see a lovely ball in here from Kukuc. Comes back to Tart, who finds Obasanya. There is a little bit of deflection, the shot is on target. The goal is given to Obasanya. Benjamin plays a nice pass here to uh, Brentford. It's a lovely left for the finish. Puts it past uh, to Arizona. We see Calvert-Lewin finds loads of space. Absolutely blazes past the MS and finds the bottom corner to make it 2-1. So very disappointing, first game at home and we've come away with a defeat. We then played Newcastle at home. Um, as you can see, a very good result. We've got a 3-1 victory there and Jan Maas certainly making up for some of the mistakes he made in the last game by scoring two goals. Um, so we'll show you these goals again very quickly. Um, as here, Jeff Goodman cutting in from the left-hand side. He's got a lot of space there, finds Brenda Ketch, finds Obisanya on the edge of the box, drills it in the bottom corner for 1-0. Suspicion of offside there, but it was deemed to be on, um, so we were able to take the lead. You see here, Shar gets the ball out to Almiron, absolutely skips past. Uh, Goodman makes, seemingly makes zero effort, makes it 1-0. Just before half-time then, Shannon whips a ball in from the corner. The Mass was raises highest. Put in and similar again from the opposite side. Uh, this time there was a little bit of a, a header on. I, I can't remember who it was that headed that. Um, but there is an, an assist there for Bumbercatch at the scene. 
um, has headed the ball on for Jan Mas to score to make it 3-1. So we're about to play our next game. It is against Everton in the uh, Carabao Cup. Um, as we've seen there, they did beat us in the, the first game. So we're absolutely looking to try and um, change things around. So we are. Um, we're playing with uh, a formation that we've created that will be part of our tactics testing series um, called the Broken Tap. Um, we're going to just make a little bit of a change here. We're going to bring in Shannon into here and put him in the attacking spot and keep on catch in central midfield. So our team our, our team for today, we've got Zorro in goal, obviously. Arlo Dixon, Isaac McAdoo, Jan Mas and Jeff Goodman at left back. We got Bumber Catch and Mont Lauren centre midfield with Tyler Shannon just ahead of them playing in the number 10 role. We've got Danny Rojas on the left wing. We've got Samuel Bassanio on the right wing. And of course, as you would expect, we have Jimmy Tart up front. We do have Zava on the bench. His stats are incredible. He is a four and a half star player right now, but he's, he's 37 years old. He's not going to be with us forever. And I, I just feel like that we don't want to make him a starter just yet. Um, so we're getting ready to kick off. Um, as you can see, we are representing, we are wearing the the latest FC Richmond shirt and um, we are playing away game of course in, in game we're playing in the away kit as well um, so we want to say I expect a win and we get two reactions um, which is not what I would have hoped for I would expect for a little bit better than that <clears throat> um, but we're kicking off the game here we see we're 10 minutes and there's been no highlights already there's absolutely very very little happening uh, throw in from Goodman finds Shannon. Can he get a turn and get a cross back into the box? He does find Jamie Tart and it's in. There we go, 1 0. It's off to a good start. It's gone down as a Ben Godfrey one goal. I don't know if I would quite agree with that. But uh, do you know what? It doesn't matter. We all count. Um, let's get a replay of that. <clears throat> you see, it's a nice turn by Shannon through the legs. Jamie Tart, it is. Uh, okay, yeah, it is no goal. It's, I think there was a save of the flex in there, but it's coming back out. It's hit off Ben Godfrey and it's going on to the back of the net. But they all count with 13 minutes in and they're leading 1 0. I see James Garner whipping in a corner to the front post, cleared by Jan Mass. Comes back out of Gardner, finds the ball again, lifts it into the back post. But Thierry Zorro rises highest, teams the ball with relative ease, it, it's fair to say. Uh, just taking his time distributing the ball, he's going to go long, he's looking for. Tyler Shannon find, knocks it on to find Danny Rojas. Going wide left. Can he get a ball back across the box? Godfrey wins a tackle. I think I have to say fairly clearly there. Um, there was no, no shouts of a penalty. Uh, and this is a lovely quick break by Everton. We're going to cut that cross out. The ball comes across. McAdoo lets it go. And Calvert Lewin's there to equalise. In, in completely, that's... We cannot defend like that. We cannot defend like that. Before. It's as simple as that. It's given to you, absolutely. Um, I don't see any arguments with giving that goal. It's, I mean, Whitaker should have been closed down earlier. Beto gets up and head it. And Calvary actually stoops down to head that. Quite nicely, I have to say. If, if my team scored that goal, I'd be pretty pleased with it. Let's see the offside shout there is. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, Arlo Dixon just plays him off. Arlo Dixon stepped out even half a yard. I think it would be better. Whitaker now with a free kick. I'm not sure if that's saved or a post. It must have been saved. It is a corner. The way we done by James Garner. Right, win the first header, boys. McAdoo clears. Goodman clears. Gets it away. <coughs> Shannon, you gotta close down better than that. You gotta stop the cross. Beto's up for a header. It's another corner. It is. Um, Everton really putting the pressure on us here. Um, I'm really on to challenge the boys to do better. Ball comes in from Garner. Cleared again. Finds Garner again. Puts it back in. Cleared by Bumble Catch. Finds Sammy Vicenia. We make a break down this right hand wing. Brings it back to Dixon. And the highlight comes to nothing. Um, so we want to demand more. Everton really are just um, all over us, really, in, in this first half. That's going to be. It. <sighs> Beto scores to make it 2 1 going to half time. Uh, this is a very disappointing performance. Uh, let's see that again. So, long throw. Beto finds Garner and nobody marks Beto. He cuts inside and has the easiest of challenges, really. 1 on 1 with Pierre Zoro and he's made it 2 1. That's disappointing. There's going to be some harsh words said at half time. Uh, looking to 
get on the attack here. Sammy was selling it. Plays it across to Jeff Goodman. It's going to go wide. He gets past his man. Gets the ball back across. Sam Obisanya, one on one with the keeper. And the keeper saves it. It's not what we were hoping for, Sam. We we're looking for you to absolutely drill that in the bottom corner. Uh, Shannon, they were up in the corner. He's up, finds Jamie Tart, but he heads it over the crossbar. Uh, 36, 38 minutes into the game now. Um, Everton really are just, uh, just all over us. Really, I'm not sure what else really we can do to... Uh, I mean, apart from making a few personnel changes, Sam Obisanya is having a nightmare of a game. It's a nice bit of football, Shannon, defense Tart. Um, Tart just plays the ball forward and, and seemingly stops running. Um, Goodman wins it back. Finds Bumber catch in the midfield. Like this, Sam Obisanya plays in the Shannon. Finds Jamie Tart, and it's there. Get in. Jamie Tart gets his goal. There's a, a suspicion of offside. It's got to be on, ref. It's got to be on. He's off. Oh, I can hear a referee. How is he offside? Show me. I need a replay. And you're not even going to give me a replay. I need to change the set. Uh, replay events. Tight offsides. Okay. I have to turn on the disallowed offsides. Uh, okay, so this is per. You've been terrible so far. Sort it out. Danny Rojas not playing well. Sam Obasanya's not playing well. Bomber catch. Richard. Now Mass. Isaac McAdoo. Let's turn this on. <clears throat> Let's go very attacking. And turn it back to Dixon. Finds Bumbercats. You can't get the pass through. Going back by Goodman. Bumbercats gets it out to Dixon. On the wide right. Lovely big cross. Into the back post. I'm not sure who that was. Tyler Shannon puts it just wide. It's a little bit disappointing. Uh, coming up to the R mark, we really got to think about we got to think about fitness as well, actually, because some of these players are struggling. Um, do we bring in Zava yet? I feel like we do. Uh, I'm gonna bring in Kraken and Coburn as well. Actually, switch you two guys that way. Who else is not playing well? <sighs> Isaac, gotta be better. Um, Richard's not playing well, and is on a booking. Hughes, uh, I don't know if you're. Uh, you are not really fully fit. We'll bring Kukoc in here and we'll keep two substitute. We'll keep the, the final substitute for a little bit later. Um, let me berate them. I'm not against a good berating. If you need to be shouted at, boys, I am going to shout at you. I find Goodman on the left. Young Mass goes back to Young Mass. He's, looking, he's, he's playing very slowly here. Goodman cuts inside. Can we go wide to McCracken? It's a good first touch. Can we get a crossover? He's back to Goodman. Let's get a cross in the box. Why are we dallying around? Fans can coach. Back to Goodman. Crosses it. First time. Pickford rises and pulls that out of thin air. With ease. It's got to be said. Like they, there's no challenge in that. Pickford goes long. Goodman wins the header. Finds McCracken. So we're going to break down the left channel. We get a crossover, gets around his man, finds Kuko, and it's there, get on. There's no doubt about that one because he's definitely onside. I think that's gone down as an OG again, has it? Let's get a little look here. The crack in goes left, moves in the channel. Uh, jumps past his defender there, who was Garner. Kuko, I think that's gone in off Branthwaite. For an own goal. It is, it's no goal. That that strike was on target. That should be Kukoc's goal. Uh, got it for him. Um, Bumber catch or Goodman? Uh, I feel like Bumber catch is. Pro Goodman's playing well. Bumber catch is not playing so great. So we'll bring Colin Hughes in. I don't like risking him coming back from his injury, but if we gotta play him, then we gotta play him. <clears throat> Pickford with a kick out. I really should have uh, looked at my penalty taking situation because that is not something I've considered. Because uh, we will go straight to penalties if it finishes in a draw. And Kraken down that left hand side again. It's a good ball. I can't find the net with his header. It's a little bit behind him. There's a lot of work to do to try and get that 
on target. Um, it's a decent effort, but uh, Jan Mas comes across and wins the ball. I really feel like that's McAdoo's area, and, and Jan Mas should have just let him do that. It's a lovely ball through to the curry. He's blazed it over the bar, and I think he was onside too. He found the space, and he really should have done better. Uh, last few minutes. Let's see how we're getting on. And we're in the penalties. Uh, Zava is in. Kukoc will hit. Let's see, we'll do this. We'll put Arlo in there. Shannon in fourth. Uh, should probably bring some of those guys further up, but their penalty taking is awful. Uh, so, it is a penalty shootout. Do we through to the next round. This is your chance to be heroes. Make sure you have no regrets. That's what we're going with. Let's switch this camera angle around. Behind the goal. Let's zoom it out a little bit. So Zava's up first. It's a good penalty. I mean, it's not a great penalty, if we're being honest. But he scored. So, counts as a good penalty. Calvert Lewin, is he just going to hit this first time? Going up, he is. And they scored. It looked like it might have gone over there. Uh, but one all after the first round. Kukoc up next. And that's he got. Drills it low and hard in the keeper's left hand corner. It's a good penalty. James Gardner coming up second now for Everton. And he set it to Zoro's right. It's a good penalty too. It's a good height. Mid, mid height. Uh, Arlo Dixon coming up to hit second. And he smashes it into the, again the mid height. And to go right on the side of the, the goal. Uh, Tarkovsky coming up to hit th uh, third for Everton. It's a good penalty. I feel like Zorro should have done a little bit better there. And it wasn't a million miles away from him. Tyler Shannon, I, I just get that feeling he's going to be the one to miss because he's got good penalty taking skills. But no, sends Pickford the wrong way. And makes it 4-3. Uh, Yusef Shermiti is a very, very good player too. Player I had my spoken game in FM23. And he's Mr. Terry Zorro with the save. That's what we love to see. Who's up fifth? I don't even remember. But this is the one. Uh, Jan Mas. Probably should have put an attacking player. A player who's used to finishing up front. But we will see how we get on. The big man steps up and puts it into the corner to make it 5-3. And we are through to the third round of the Carabao Cup. A nice one against Everton. Um, we didn't play well, but I'm happy with the result. That's fine. Don't want to knock them down when they're, they've been just okay, you know. Um, so, pleasing to see that we've got um, through to the next round. We've beaten a Premier League team. Which is always pleasing. Um, and that will see us through to... Uh, let's see when the draw is due to happen. Um, in two days. We'll skip forward and we'll, we'll try and get a look at the draw. And see who we're going to get during that. Um, there are obviously more games to be played now. In uh, the Wednesday. We played obviously on the Tuesday night. So there are a few more games still to come. Um, we'll see the result of those and then we'll go into the next day there won't be any transfer business as mentioned already we've disabled the transfer window for this game uh, for the first transfer window so there won't be any transfer deadline day business we will be back in episode 2 with the uh, games from September including all the goals as well of course um, let's get a little look and see if we can get this draw um, so we, do we do an automatic draw? Is there, it feels like there's too many teams to do that, but we'll just do it until such times as we come out of it. Um, it's not like the European draws, which happen a lot quicker. We see Fleetwood are, face, are at home to Liverpool. That's County will host Brighton. Plymouth will host Ipswich. Man United are at home to Bournemouth. That'll be a nice game for two Premier League teams. West Ham will be at home to Birmingham. Man City will host Mansfield. Uh, we are at home to Sheffield Wednesday. Okay. Um, 
draw the rest of the teams. So in the next, in the third round, the Carabao Cup, we are going to be drawn against Sheffield Wednesday. Um, Sheffield Wednesday are League One side, of course, one of the, the um, little edits we've had to make this database is any clubs that have been promoted through the playoffs have not been promoted, unfortunately. Um, so Luton Town aren't in the Premiership, they stay in League One. Sheffield Wednesday aren't in um, the Championship, sorry, Luton stay in the Championship. Sheffield United haven't been promoted to the Championship, they stay in League One, so on and so forth. So we've been drawn against Sheffield Wednesday at home in the third round of the Carabao Cup. Personally, I feel like that's a game we should definitely win and we should definitely go through to the next round. But that will come in the next episode. Um, as we see here, the next games we have are Bournemouth away, Sheffield United at home, West Ham away. We have that game against Sheffield Wednesday um, in the Carabao Cup at home. And then the big one, of course, is Man City. We play them at home in the final game of September. So we'll wrap up those games in the next episode um, as mentioned you can download the database from the link in the description below uh, whilst you're down there please do hit that subscribe button it does allow us to bring you more content like this and it does help us to grow the channel as well so that is it for now we will see you in the next one thank you very much and take care thank you for watching this video i do hope you've enjoyed it please do like share and subscribe and leave your Next one, thank you and take care.